Hi, it's Nancy with Garden Scrow, and uh, I mentioned to my husband this morning, I started to say, do you think spring is on its way? And I cannot imagine an Oklahoma winter without snow, so I'm still going to think that we're going to have some snow. Besides, it's January the 25th today, a little early to assume. <laughs> that spring might be on its way, but we've had some really pretty days. It's actually pretty enough. I could get out here and start cleaning some of this stuff uh, out, but I don't know if I will today or not either. I don't want to start so soon that I don't feel like I had a break from it, but I do want to get some of it done as much as I can really, so I can start with uh, spring planting when the nurseries open up. I wanted to show you my little Polymer Prince Begonia, even though nobody should have to see this, but it's terrible because see, here's one totally gone. Just a sec while I go get the scissors because I'm not going to try to pull that off because I might pull off more than I would want to pull off, but I'm going to clip it right back here instead. And then Here's another one, and I'm going to go ahead and clip it way back here because I read to do that, so I'm going to assume, oh gosh, I hate to do that to this one. Look at it. It's still got some life in there, but I guess I will because, as you can see, the bigger part of it is not life but death, and then here's another one. Oh gosh, make that two. Here's two more. This one right here is gone. There's, I thought that was the same one, but it actually ended up being two of them. This one is is not turned um, totally dark yet or crunchy, but it's limp. It's gone. Um, let me kind of just lift these up gently and see. Look at the beauty in those leaves. But this one has got one, at least one piece of it that's gone. Here's another piece of it. I'm going to try just trimming this one. Um, I don't know. I may end up having to lose it too. I hate to think that, but it, it could happen. But I'm going to kind of turn this around. Oh, look at this. Did you get this beautiful leaf right here? Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know how long it'll stay gorgeous, so you have to get a picture of it now. But I do like the way it's standing up above the soil. So I'm thinking as long as this big clump right down here in the middle, and that white stuff you see is actually um, diatomaceous earth, so it's not going to hurt it. It's there to keep the gnats from taking over. But I think as long as this will live, even if I lose all the rest of it, which I hope I don't, but I think if this part of it will live, the rest of it will come back beautiful like it was last year. I'm hoping that will happen. I love this little plant. I don't know why. I don't know why we fall in love with a certain plant, but I, I definitely did fall in love with this one, and I still think it's just gorgeous. I came out just a little earlier and actually spent 40 minutes right here in this little triangle. <laughs> what I really meant to do was to just clear out here in front of these railroad ties. But we're going to take this as a before and hopefully I'll get to show you an after. So I did get this finished. It's about to start to get dark that I got her done and it looks, actually does look pretty good. It's a good a good day's work and a good start on cleaning out the front yard. The picture I just showed you uh, is of a snow. We did get some snow on January the 28th. This one actually melted when it hit the ground, so we didn't get any buildup of snow, but it was nice to see it coming down. And I did notice that my, uh, my little movie clip that I took looks more like sleet, which we did have some sleet, but at the time they were 
pretty good sized flakes of snow and they looked so nice but didn't show up quite as pretty in my little clip but you can tell we got some moisture which is you know what the gardener and the farmer is after is that moisture for their uh, plants and I will try as the winter progresses and we get more snow if we do which I feel like we will but I'll try to get you some snow pictures also I want to clean this one up just a little bit and then I want you to come over this way because I want to show everybody my brand new bloom I just saw it when I, I'm fixing to uh, water my plants and I was testing them and looking at them and uh, this thrown away. If you can come down here close and just uh, go right down in. First of all, I'm going to get these these dead leaves off. But look, look. Not only is there a dead leaf there, right there's another one. But look what's right here beside it. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. It's called a panda plant, and it puts its little blooms on in the winter time. I love that little surprise. I'm going to go ahead and clip this off. Uh, there's one other one here right by that I want to clip off to. Just kind of make it a little bit neater. I get anxious to get them back outside because they don't fare very well for me inside. Although this one particular little Dracaena corn plant has totally grown up on me since I purchased it. I actually cleaned this up a little bit, so she's a little more camera ready now. But uh, look at those beautiful leaves. They're so pretty anyway. I love these different shades of green. But uh, they really shine now. This, some of these leaves, some were new and already shining pretty, but a lot of them still had some of the uh, hard water elements like dip from our well water from watering them in the summertime. So I cleaned it up a bit and got it a little more camera ready. Also washed this. I learned you can wash these with lemon juice. Uh, I think you can also wash the leaves with lemon juice or water and I used um, on the leaves I actually used real mayonnaise which works for me I, I got the idea or the hint to do that from a catalog years ago and I've just continued to do it but um, so my little plant is my little new baby bloom my panda plant bloom is really ready to shine now and with all this other stuff that's ready to shine along with it. I also wanted to tell you that I did find some more little plants. This of course had some bad spots on it so I've trimmed it up where it doesn't look so great but it's got a new one coming up right here and the price were right. <laughs> so if you're going to, and this is called a and I'll let you read that because I can't pronounce that, I'm sure. But I thought it was very pretty. I love these muted or mottled colors, colors of green. And then this, of course, is a Chevalera plant, which I love. Uh, my, my husband's mother, my mother-in-law, well, I see there's a bad leaf right there but she gave me one of these when um, we were not had not been married very long and I kept it for many years it did look pathetic nothing like this one right here although this one may look like it before too long because I'm not good with houseplants but I have gotten better and I am going to try again I decided it's time to try that one again so I'll always think of of her when I see my Chevalier just like I did my other one even though I ended up killing it but um, and then this is a pretty little plant I really liked it of course I, I love color you know that <laughs> so uh, and it was also at a perfectly good price and let me see if it has yes and here's the 
the name of it and so hopefully I'll get these going too I know they may not look so great and also I do want to put them I got the pots to put these in which is another thing I just haven't had time to get around to but but I hopefully will do in maybe a prettier day when I can go outside and they can enjoy a little bit of sun while I put them in their new home and then we'll have these outside this uh, this summer or this spring and hopefully see these are some more that I'll really want to keep uh, in the shade so we'll see where I'll be able to put these let's go into the backyard where I've noticed there's quite a bit of green coming up and some of it in the form of grass and then we have some dried seeds that will be coming up in the spring and then uh, in this picture there's more weeds and some of the iris coming up and this is the phlox and then here I got a fairly good picture of a mockingbird for you and I did try to get in closer uh, but all I actually did was end up blurring it out for you and then some of the loud noises you've been hearing are these European starlings that make a terrible noise in my book so January is, I saw you say, moving right along. But today is January the 31st, so this is the last day. <laughs> February is coming on. We've had a very mild January. We've had ups and downs in temperatures, of course. Uh, it's been cold and then warmer and like spring and then back to cold. So I haven't had a chance to clean out a lot of the garden yet, but I have got a little start, as you could tell by the post, and uh, grass is trying to come out, and weeds, and a little bit of the plants are actually greening up, but they may or may not make it, but they'll make it from the roots, so if that part dies back, they'll come back in the spring, most likely, even though we have certainly given them a run for their money with our temperatures going all over the place. Um, I'm expecting along with the young man that uh, spoke at our church, the young minister that said uh, we're probably going to be paying for all this nice weather in about March and maybe April. He's probably right. We usually do have a late freeze in Oklahoma. So we'll have to be dealing with all that and I've actually been having a little bit of a struggle finding a post this time. I kind of got little bits and pieces and I'll put all that together and hope, hopefully it will be a, a nice enough little post that you'll enjoy it. Sometimes we just have to bit, bit and piece things together to get it done. So I'm trying to get taxes ready. We've had several different things that I'm didn't know we're going to come up that have came up and we're just kind of I'm in that little slightly overwhelmed area but at least I'm not trying to do that and keep the garden alive which I have definitely had that problem in the summertime when the heat's boiling down but um, or bearing down making us boil <laughs> But anyway, uh, we're going to keep up with the garden post and hope that you enjoy it. I noticed some more of my bags that I put the plastic bags around some of this garden art has blown off. We've had some really windy weather, which is certainly nothing new. But uh, I probably need to put another cover over this one. can see how some of the newer limbs are coming out on the trees. This one looks pretty with the sunlight shining on its new red color. These are some containers that my church garden buddy gave to me and uh, also I guess you can notice there that I did go ahead and cover that uh, layer up or 
monkey grass because it was just getting so far out of hand. I'll probably still have to uh, spray some Roundup or type stuff around it, around the edges where it didn't get covered, but we'll hopefully get it cleared out this season and next season be able to put something different here. But I will probably uh, plant these up also and have something pretty in those this even for this coming season. My husband and I did clear out this little square right here too, except for the things underneath it plastic. I didn't go ahead and take that off yet. I'm going to just keep those covered and then I'll clear out the pots under those when I plant them probably. There's my little row of stuff still waiting for me to paint. I have not painted one item of it yet. I do still have that plan though. That's another one of the things I was telling you that's just on my back burner and I hate to think I hate to have things on my back burner very long I don't mind it for a little while nobody can get around to everything all at once but see I want to get this little swan I know she looks terrible but when she gets some paint on her she's going to do fine for outside I still like it this side I have not cleared out yet cleaned out yet but um when it gets pretty again and I get a day where I can, I certainly will plan on doing that. Also, we're thinking about taking this tree down. I like it here because a lot of these uh, plants that are underneath it are either shade plants or part shade plants. And so I, I like having it there. Uh, the maple trees are a little bit um, soft wood because when we have high winds, especially when we have like tornadoes in the area, but I'm not saying a tornado right here in this particular spot, but uh, just some strong winds can take down the limbs. As you see, a lot of them have already come down. My husband and his brother are planning on uh, even this next week taking some of these dead ones down and I'm because he wants to take the whole tree down I I have reservations about that but I may give in because it's going to have to be at some point it, it's not going to heal itself it's already got too many well, you can see from this little part right here how it's got those borers and the wood has rotted one of the reasons I like to leave it here though is because we have a red-headed woodpecker that loves to come and, and check out the bugs in the tree but I think it's probably time to go ahead and, and let them take it down if they if they feel like doing that this coming week instead of just doing some of the limbs but we'll just kind of see how that goes I'm not sure and I'm I don't think he's sure what he wants to do with it right now but one reason I'm partially ready is this little red bud tree it's just a tiny little one of course but uh, it was just a baby when I put it there just a seedling uh, so it's already grown this much and I've always I just like the idea of a red bud tree because in the spring they're so beautiful they just uh, announce spring is in the air spring is everywhere so uh, when you see those kind of purple pink blooms they're just wonderful that even though it's small it won't be like it's bare out here of trees so um, if they want to take that one down I'm probably going to let it go this time I would of course want to put another tree in its spot but it will take a, a long time for that uh, trunk to actually rot and come out of the ground where I could plant another one there so um, I don't know when or if we'll put another one there, but I would like to for sure. I just like the beauty of it. I like the shade of it. And it just seems like a good idea to put one there. I'm not sure 
quite yet. I've been looking some at the golden, greenish golden um, smoke trees, but of course they're a small tree, which might be okay there. I'm just not sure of that. Just some thoughts I've had on it. <laughs> I forgot about this little golden chain tree. We do have it in the front. It's a small little tree too, but it's very pretty. And then one of the other things my husband and his brother are going to do is try to put up our new purple martin house, which we've never had purple martins in. The sparrows and the uh, grackles seem to just take over immediately. They did this one when we put it up. They were swarming around it before it even got solid in the ground. But um, I still like it and I still like to watch them. So I, I do hope to put another one in its place and hopefully show you a new one up there before very long. And I would also like to ask you to please like subscribe and share with your friends and tell them about Garden Scroll.